Girl, what? I look like I'm in Jamaica or something. Where is me? But how Jamaica? What? Give me a margarita. Before we get too deep, y'all already know what to do, okay? It's your girl, Kyrie M. If you are new to the channel, if you ain't new to the channel, you haven't done this as well. This is for you, too. Make sure you click on that pretty red subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my beauty, fashion, or lifestyle videos or more videos like this, okay? Now, we're going to talk about this hair, okay, that was sent over to me by Love Me Hair. So, shout out to the sponsor for today's video. Y'all know I be doing it up with Love Me Hair. This one is a wet and wavy unit now. If you don't know what wet and wavy is, that means that you can wet it. And it's going to be wavy and you can straighten it out and it will get bone straight, slick straight, okay? I personally like these hairstyles, especially for the summertime, something for vacation, summer, whatever. So that way, if you want to rock it straight, you could do that. And if it start raining, if you want to hop in the pool, if you want to get in the water at the beach, you don't got to worry about the hair looking crazy because it's just going to wave up like this. That's what you call hair sexiness, okay? If you start to feel this unit and you want to go ahead and pick it up, definitely check the description box or the pinned comments for the direct link and the promo code to this unit. And anything that you see me styling this unit with to get it together, get it right, will also be linked in the description box as well. Also, I'm going to show you how I kind of got my scalp to look like scalp without melting this unit down because it's not melted. As you can see, the unit is a glueless, okay? Okay. okay. Now, this is a closure unit, y'all. So, closures are going to be really simple. We don't have to worry about melting down the whole unit, which I absolutely love, okay? Absolutely love. I want to be able to whip this wig on and whip it off when I'm done. So, if this is something that you're into, continue to keep on watching. I'm going to give you the nitty gritty, all of the cons, all of the pros, and show you what I did, how to get it like this. Let's go. Again, I got this unit from Love Me Hair. And of course, I'm going to get into the unboxing, right? So, you know, they already got some cute stuff up in here. But I'm going to start off with the hair. So, it's a 5x4 closure. We do have combs, an adjustable strap, and an elastic band that's sewn into it. But it is adjustable, okay? So, you do have some options as far as securing this wig up on your head top. Now, this is what the lace looks like up on me. So far, the parting space looks good. The hairline actually looks pretty decent as well. But I'm going to go ahead and show you what we got. So we got a wig cap, we got a bonnet, and we got an elastic band, it looks like, and an edge brush and comb. So let's get into the good stuff, okay? Let's swing it on through to where we really want to be. All right. <laughs> so this is the hairline, and I think it looks actually pretty good. Um, so I left it alone. So what I did was wash the hair, and I'm going to go ahead and add in some of this curling cream just to define it a little bit and kind of get it to have that nice wet look that I am going for today. And I'm going to comb it through and I'm going to let it air dry. So this is the next day and the hair is fully dry. And as you can see, it's flowing, it's soft, it's curly. So it holds a wet look really, really nicely, y'all. This is what the unit looks like directly on my head. And I cannot believe how beautiful and luxurious these curls look while it's dry. Um, This is a close-up. As you can see... We have not set or showing. The grids are definitely there. We do have some length on this unit as well, y'all. And you know what? I'm going to tweak this thing up. So I went ahead and I jumped in and I cut the lace off. Now I'm going to um, let y'all know of jump that the hairline did look good on a mannequin. But on me, it just looked okay. It didn't look superb or anything. It just looked decent. But I must say that they did pluck it. So I can't complain. So I'm going to jump into this little knot eraser, okay? I got this off of Amazon. I had it for a while. I think it was a perfect time to use it because we're using a closure, y'all. We're not going to be melting down this stuff. And literally, all I care about is the parting space. So you peel it off and you just place it where your parting space is going to be. And I must say, it did a pretty darn good job. If you don't want to bleach your knots and stuff, this is definitely an option that you should want to go ahead and look into. So you just peel it and you press it in. It's really lightweight. It's really easy to use and it's cool. So I'm going to plop this on my head and I'm going to let you know, like, it's going to look so white. So this one is like the transparent one I believe I have, uh, which is fine because what I'm going to do um, is add some makeup to it so it can blend to my skin better. All in all, it does make the grids look a little better. It's not completely erasing the knots, but it is a little bit better. So I'm going to use my concealer and just paint it onto this. And I'm going to paint it onto the lace as well. Just to avoid one little step to make it look more realistic. And this definitely do does the job. So I'm just pressing it in to make sure I get it through the lace holes. Like, 
it's sticky and it's thin. It's easy to work with, y'all. I don't know how to describe it. Just get you some. But look how different that looks already. So I'm going to go ahead and flatten that area out a little bit. So I went in with my, what you call it, heat protectant <laughs> and my hot comb. And I'm trying to flatten out the top, but I'm also using that heat to kind of, I don't know, adhere the, um, the lace a little bit more to the eraser. Um, I went too far up towards the lace in the front. I wanted to take some off just so you didn't see like a line of demarcation. So I did cut some off so I could kind of get a blood or a better blend in the front, the very front. I don't advise you to bring it all the way to the front, y'all. Just a little bit, leave you a little bit space so you can blend that little piece of lace to your skin if you're going to melt it down or something. And of course, I'm going in with my powder as usual, nothing too special. Make sure I blend that lace in with my little powders and all of that good stuff. And all of this helps. All of this definitely helps y'all. Now this is just a cup of water that I'm going in and wetting my hair with. And this is because I was styling my hair. Of course the wet look is not there anymore. So I have to redefine these curls. Um, but I'm going to start off with the top because the hairline is kind of blunt. I didn't want it to show. So I'm kind of swooping it up like baby boop a little bit. Like we're doing some finger waves just to, so the hair can go forward and not backwards. So that way I can look decent. Um, The hair is really easy to style. I feel like even the process that I did using this knot eraser is still easy. It's not difficult. So this is definitely a beginner friendly unit. Now the puffy look, I'm not really feeling. So I'm going to go back in and redefine it. So I'm going in with this curling cream. The same stuff that I used last night when I washed the hair. And I'm going to just crunch it into it. Rake it through the hair. Make sure it's this stuff keeps the hair soft it defines it really really well and keeps the hair nice and soft so if you want to go and define your curls and you don't want to get too crunchy get that curling cream i'm telling you but i will be going in with some foam because y'all all know when the hair is soft sometimes it can frizz up when it dries so the foam is kind of going to give it some hold like a hairspray but it's not as crunchy now this foam i really really love because it's going to define it it's going to hold it and it's going to tame the frizz but it's not going to make the hair crunchy. So, um, yeah, I did that to both sides. And then I also had to tame the flyaway. So I used some hairspray to do that, of course. And I went ahead and scrunched up the hair and dried it for faster, you know, faster processing or whatever you want to call it. Because I'm definitely not trying to walk around with wet hair, you know. So, yeah, <laughs> this part is pretty self-explanatory. However, the hair came out so nice, so luscious, and the hair is fully dry, and we still have a wet look. Absolutely gorgeous. That parting space looks so realistic. It's crazy, y'all. So, I will be using that little knot eraser a lot more. As you can see, the hair is moving. Look how it's moving. And the hair is dry. It's not wet at all. I'm definitely feeling this style. But we're going to talk more about it in the review portion coming up right now. Now, y'all know I'm I'm here for the voiceovers because it's nice and fast. But I want to connect with y'all and let y'all know how I really felt about this unit. I don't come here too often as of lately. So, I want to dive in and let you know for real. So, let's start. Let's start, okay? So, like I like to do, I like to start off with the cons and I like to end with the pros. Now, as you can see, straight out of the package, the unit actually looks pretty good. The hairline looked nice. I said, okay, this is some pre-plucking. I don't have to do too much. I was a little bit hesitant with plucking that hairline in the front, especially because it was that straight across line that we also hate. But behind Behind that hairline it was nice and kind of pre-plucked however once the unit was actually slapped onto my scalp I noticed that it wasn't as pre-plucked as I would like it to be it's just so blunt the hairline is so blunt at the front y'all and that is why I decided to style it as I did to kind of hide it now y'all know I'm a girl for kind of flipping a little bit back and having it fall down but not with this unit I did not have the time to pluck this unit to be honest with you if you are somebody who likes your clothes to be a little bit plucked you are gonna have to go in and do a little bit of extra work because they did a little something for you but they didn't do everything okay now of course you already knew that the knots were definitely showing on this unit this is a human head unit it'd be like that sometimes okay sometimes they'll bleach the knots sometimes they won't most times they do not okay so this unit did not have bleach knots and i thought about doing it but i didn't have the time <laughs> so that being said i was like you know what i got some product that i picked up had this little scalp thing from amazon for a very long time actually and i decided like let me give it a try see what i could do make it do what it do make it work what it work i must say that it did a really great job and the knots aren't so huge that it's not able to be hidden of course it's not 100 looking like skin and it's not hidden 100 but it's a lot different from how it was at the beginning so give Get you some of this okay everything will be linked in the description box of course the unit the promo codes and the products that i use to style the unit now honestly that is the only two cons that i have with this unit 
it's not huge you know what i'm saying it's preference things all about preference and what you prefer most people already know when you get a human hair unit you're gonna have to do some kind of customization because they don't do as much to as far as customizing it they let us do it on our own so i'm gonna slip this in really quick as tell you about the fit the fit i actually think is really nice it does have a nice fit on it of course because it's a closure unit this is an ear tab right here so we do have ear tabs which can technically come up a little bit more if i wanted it to but to avoid the wig being on my forehead i moved it back i have a 22 and a half circumference size head that's how it's fitting me so no really issues with the fit on it i think it's cool it's easy it's breezy i ain't tripping now let's talk about some things i love i absolutely love the wave on this unit so so pretty as you can see um it does hold a wet look really nicely and it doesn't do too much poofing up once it dries down as you can see when i washed the unit yesterday it was still holding it in for a minute so today it was still looking really nice and juicy and just defined but of course me styling it planning it moving it around maneuvering it i kind of fluffed it out a bit so i had to come back and do a little something something to it okay me personally i think it looks good in this kind of texture or maybe a little bit more defined the poofiness i, I didn't like too much only because the waves are looser than i would like when i'm trying to do big hair if that makes sense so it's a preference thing you could do what you want but the texture is really nice it's really soft to the touch even with the products i put in it the mousse and all the hair is still soft as you can see the hair is still flowing it's bouncy it's moving it's juicy so absolutely beautiful and most of all this unit is definitely effortless like it takes nothing to get this unit together. Of course, you saw me having little mishaps and stuff, but that's because I'm trying it out, seeing what I could do for you. <laughs> but if you don't even want to do this, like literally you could just cut the lace off, add powder to the part, flatten out the top, wet it, juice it up, do whatever. And that's really all you need to do. But you know I'm extra and I got to try some things. <laughs> that is it, y'all. I'm super pleased. It's absolutely beautiful. It looks very tropical. Very tropical and vacation -y, y'all. It looks like I'm in Jamaica or something. I had to get like a little island outfit going with it because that's the vibe I was getting. Like, it looked like I'm on vacation, girl. Like, what? Where is me? Bahamas, Jamaica? What? Give me a margarita. <laughs> So that is it, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. It was super fun. Of course, the direct link to this unit will be linked in the description box along with the promo code and all that good stuff. And I'll see you in another video too. Then I will holla. Bye.